right? With that team that has the camaraderie, that the team that has the rapport with the team that already works together, the new guy hasn't integrated into the team yet. So they're not necessarily setting him up for success and you're not setting him up for success either because you're kind of letting everybody just figure it out, right? You're not giving them the tools that he needs in order to integrate into the team and be a contributing member of society, of, of the culinary team, right? And when you have an existing team like that and you leave it up to them and there's no path for integration, then inevitably there's going to be a new guy, old guy mentality. There's going to be a new team, old team mentality. The old team knows what works. The old team has a way. The old team has a flow because, well, if they've been doing it for more than a month, well, then they have a flow. So the new guy is always going to be on the outside and they may not necessarily be sharing all the information that, that you need them to know. And if you're leaving it up to the old team to show him, are you positive you're going to get the result that you want? When you have an existing group, the group has camaraderie, the group has you know, this interpersonal relationship, right? No matter what, the new person is the outsider, no matter what, unless they're friends with somebody ahead of time. But even then, there's still going to be some friction until they integrate with the team. Depending on how that person is, you can lose him really quickly, right? Or the team can make him not fit very quickly, which is going to make him quit. How can you set him better up for success? You can build a relationship with one person first, then you're going to have a relationship and then you're going to be able to integrate into the team a bit more effectively, right? That's one of the benefits of having a trainer, having somebody who's mature enough to give them the sources that they need, mature enough to give them the, I guess, the operational stuff, the politics of the kitchen. They can take that and then they can apply that to their other relationships. And then they have a voice from inside the team already. Focus on one as opposed to 10. What's the difference between focusing on one thing and 10 different things? Make a lot more progress a lot faster. You just watched a clip from one of my recent conversations with my coaching clients. If any of that resonated with you, if you're looking to up your game and you're looking to grow as a professional chef, but you're not sure where to start, then I would encourage you to click the link below and apply for us to see if working together is in our best interest. We can definitely find a path together. Look forward to talking to you soon. Click the link below and let's get started.